This is going to be an unboxing and review of this LG gaming monitor that I bought to replace my current one. It was about $229, so is it worth it? Well, let's find out. First of all, it's 1080p, 165Hz, and has a 1 millisecond response time with NVIDIA G-Sync enabled. That's pretty incredible for the spec sheet. The unboxing experience is pretty much like any other gaming monitor you'll see. It comes in very nicely packaged and very well protected. Taking the monitor out of the plastic wrap really gave me an appreciation for how big this thing is. It is massive next to a regular iPhone 6. You will need a screwdriver to assemble it, however the assembly is fairly straightforward and only took me a few minutes to do. That made an awful sound, but was very satisfying. So let's get rid of this old monitor, and let's get the new one in and set up. It did take me a few minutes to get it put into place and get all the cords plugged in, but once I did, it was ready to go. So here's the monitor in my setup. I think it has a very nice, thin, and sleek design, however I do not like that the ports stick out. The ports included though, are a DC in, audio out, HDMI 1 and 2, as well as the display port which a cable is included for. And by pressing the power button down on the bottom, the monitor turns on. You get that, and then after a couple seconds, it turns right on. I must say, the 1080p IPS LCD display panel on this monitor looks great. It delivers a solid video experience and I do enjoy watching video on here. Using the single button that also functions as a joystick on the bottom of the monitor allows you to access the very customizable menus of this monitor. I was very impressed with the settings menu. It's quite extensive and allows you to change many different functions of the monitor, such as that refresh rate. Something quite impressive as well is that the bezels on this monitor are very thin. It's something I really like, but what I don't like is the LCD ghosting that can be present when looking at the edge of the screen from a certain angle. It's very disappointing and is not a deal breaker, however I'm very disappointed with this. When you jump into a game, it completely disappears. I'm getting 165 FPS playing Minecraft right now, which is pretty solid, and this monitor looks great. You will definitely notice the difference between this and a regular monitor. If you're the target market for this monitor, a gamer who's looking for a fairly inexpensive monitor with a high refresh rate, this is definitely one to consider. The lack of speakers is something that you should take note of, however I still think it's a good buy. The monitor also sits 5 inches forward from where the back of the stand is, which is illustrated here by my Pixel XL. So what are my opinions on this monitor? Well first let's look at that display. It's definitely the best part of the package. You're getting a nice 1080p panel, looks great, has free sync, G-Sync, that fast refresh rate, and it's very customizable so you can really maximize your performance out of that display. That is something that I definitely like. However unfortunately the ghosting is very disappointing. I wouldn't expect something like that on such an expensive monitor like this, and LG would be better off dumping that software disc and actually putting their ports in the right spot. Apparently folks at LG didn't think that way. Overall this monitor is very solid for the price, and if you want something like this I'd recommend it. Just consider the downfalls and limitations of it. Then again I guess the joke's on me for buying it at Costco, same place where Karens can buy cheap TVs and you can buy a $2 slice of pizza that's surprisingly good. With that all being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video, hope you found it useful, I'll be leaving a purchase link down in the description. That all being said, I'm APR2K Productions, and peace out everyone. <laughs>